Hey, it's Tim here. In the next two minutes, I'll show you how to make a bullet chart in Tableau. We essentially start off by making a bar chart. We'll go ahead and grab the regions and put it on rows, and then we'll get the current cells and put it on columns. The reason it says current cells, previous year cells and target cells is because I'm not calculating these. You might need to do this with your data set. So just bear that in mind. Now I need a little bit more space to work here and you can see the axis isn't showing for some reason. So let's go ahead and tick this option here to show the header so that it comes back. And when I hover my mouse just over here on the bottom, you can see I get this up and down arrow. I can use that just to give myself a bit more space. Now we're going to get target cells and put it on detail. And we're going to get previous year cells and put that on detail too. The reason I'm doing that is because I want these values to be in the context of the visualization. So I'll go ahead and right click on the axis, add a reference line, and you'll see that those two values are now available for me. So if you want a line to be the target, a reference line, we can go ahead and set that and make sure it's working on each row essentially per cell and for this we want to make sure the aggregation is a sum because it's adding up all the aggregate values that sit underneath this we'll go ahead disable the label so that it's not showing up we'll make this a little bit thicker and uh, yeah we'll keep it at that actually we'll keep it gray and we'll leave it like that so now we've got a nice reference line showing us what the target cells should be the next thing to do is this previous year cells what we need to do with this is essentially put it as another bar on top of this bar chart. So the only way to do that in Tableau is to do a dual axis. Let's go ahead and do that over here. You can see it's there on the right hand side when we put it next to the current cells. When you click on the second value, we can actually go down here and select dual axis. Because we've left the marks pane on automatic, it will think we want circles. We don't want that, we want a bar. If we go back now, you'll see that that's working correctly. The next step to do is to synchronize the axis so that these two are actually matching. And then once we've done that, we can actually go ahead and hide this uh, top header because we don't need it anymore. We, we're sort of done with it. The next thing we can do is kind of give this a little bit more formatting. So what I'll do is I'll take the previous year cells and I'll go ahead and bump the size of this up a little bit. So it's a little bit wider. It's actually not done that enough. So let's go, let's go ahead and do that a lot more. And then the next thing we want to do is put this behind the blue bar. And so it's quite simple to do that. Just grab this and switch these around. Tableau maintains a dual axis and keeps it. And notice it brought the current year cells back. So what we're going to need to do is hide this again. Uh, you'll notice this time it's unfortunately gone and hidden both of them. So if we actually go back one step here, what we can do is we can actually um, show the header on this bottom axis that makes this one come back hide the header on this top one that keeps the bottom one and then we can go ahead and change the axis over here and uh, go ahead and just make this uh, say sales let's go ahead and type a capital s and that's it that's it everything is done and we've more or less made a bullet chart and it's 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 okay it's not perfect we need to do a bit more formatting but in the very short amount of time we've achieved the result now, one of the things you need to be aware of is if you're going to do this, you're probably going to need to calculate the current cells, the previous year cells, and the target cells. There are plenty of resources over on YouTube and also on the Tableau community talking to you about how to do this. So go ahead and check those tutorials out. I just wanted to show you very quickly how to make this bar chart. If you haven't seen any of my other videos which explain charts in two minutes, go ahead and check them out. And of course, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any great content that we make in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.